their friends nibs again out here at the range today doing a little bit of shooting an absolutely marvelous day for upstate new york uh almost the end of november and uh <clears throat> we're at, i don't know if it's made it quite there yet but they're calling for a high of 53 today um it is pretty nice out it's a lot better when you're out in the sun but uh, underneath the overhead here overhang here i'm in the shade so it's a little cooler but uh still a <laughs> absolutely fabulous day to get out and do some shooting so i brought out a couple of guns uh the one i'm going to be showing you guys in this video is one i've shown on the video on the channel before but uh it was a while ago and i figured i would bring it out and do a little more shooting with it and show you guys again uh, it is a fabulous gun and this is my uh, BSW Sewell or Sewler and this is originally started out as what they called in Germany their KKW uh, training rifles but this particular one so those were made in the 30s by several different uh, companies Mauser being one of them BSW another uh, several others as well um, but uh, that started out as a training rifle it would have had uh, wood all the way out to the end a man liquors type stock um, <clears throat> and really looked a lot like a Mauser K98 but this one's been modified into a, a very nice target gun uh, has uh, Lyman sights on the back and on the front uh, and it also, I don't know if you saw it when I was doing the flyby there a minute ago, but it actually has, a, this is a single shot. These KKWs were all single shot. Um, and, but this one has a, a magazine or a shell holder built into the stock right here on the side. So when you're shooting, you can just grab one and throw it back in there and away you go. <coughs> I'm going to be shooting it off to rest here just so you guys can see what the accuracy of the gun is and not the accuracy of, of me. So, But uh, I'll do a couple different groups. I've got some Norma. Stand by. Let me grab some uh, different. I wanted to do tr try some other ammo as well. Meant to get it out earlier. But I got, the, uh, I got some Elay Target, which I believe I remember this liked and then uh, a box of the Norma TAC-22 which is very much like the gecko rifle um, and uh, from what you know I can recall this gun really liked that gecko rifle as well so let's go ahead and uh, shoot a group with this Norma TAC-22 I'm just shooting 25 yards it is a little bit breezy out here, but I don't expect that'll affect the uh, outcome too badly. But uh, I didn't want to try to stretch it out to 50 just because it's so breezy out here. Once I get done shooting, I'll have to run down and grab that target because I... I cannot see the bullet impacts from this distance, so. And I forgot to bring my spotting scope with me. I also forgot to bring my <laughs> box of tins with me again, so I got the wrong tin, uh, the wrong, or box of, uh, tin of Inserts what I meant to say I got the wrong insert again in here for doing this kind of bullseye shooting So the uh, I got the, the little lollipop with a round head on the top of it And that is pretty much covering You can see the target that's down there right now the red dot and most of that light green that's surrounding the red dot this lollipop is covering most of that so it's tough to get a consistent point of aim 
I like the ones that are have a circle in them and that way I can see that red dot and I can center that right in the center of that that red dot right in the center of the open circle in the front it really I really shoot my best with that kind of an insert I can I think I can see the bullet impacts looks like I might be hitting a little bit high I don't, know if, I don't remember if I've got this sighted for 25 or 50 yards let's go ahead and try the Elay we'll move over to the other bullseye next door Something like this Elay has got just a tiny bit, little bit more report to it than the uh, the Norma. I don't know if because we're so <laughs> getting so many nice days right now if we're going to get hammered with some bad winter the rest of the winter but sometimes it seems like that's the way it works it's got a decent trigger this gun does it's not uh, the best in the world uh, there is a little bit of uh, take up on it Just a little bit, little bit mushy, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It was intended to be a trainer uh, rifle, and so they tried to emulate the trigger from the Mauser K98, which is a military, you know, arm, not a uh, target rifle. So anyway, I'll go grab that target, and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty. So yeah, that's actually not bad shooting at all. Uh, <clears throat> it kind of seems like it maybe favors the TAC, favors the TAC-22 just a little bit, but not by much. Um, had uh, With the TAC-22, I had four that were almost touching each other. Uh, I'll put a picture of that up right here. <clears throat> and one little flyer down low, and that is strictly, I'm sure, just you know my eyeballs not being able to focus on these sights. And then the other, the... <clears throat> the Elay, and I'll put a picture of that up here as well. That uh, was a nice little group, except for one little flyer. And again, I'm sure that was probably due to my eyes and not the uh, not the gun or the ammo. But uh, there you go, some excellent shooting. Great little gun, great history on these. I really like to find a KKW that uh, hasn't been modified, but boy, they're not giving those away. <laughs> But uh, I am really happy with this this find here. I've had this one for several years now, and uh, it's it's such a it's a, it's a nice conversation piece to be able to take out to the range too when you get out here with some some folks, um, and uh, they're like, "What is that?" <laughs> but uh, very cool, very cool old gun. Again, made in the '30s, probably late '30s. They had a few other. Um, earlier models that Mauser and them put out and then in the late 30s just before World War II actually started up uh, the Germans came up with this KKW pattern and uh, I can't remember like I said I can't remember all of the manufacturers that made them but there was like five or six different manufacturers that the German government actually uh, contracted with to build these guns for them so they could get them out to the <clears throat> do training with and uh, I got a special treat for you guys though before we wrap up I out at uh, 50 yards <laughs> a 
This is for Kevin LaRose, Pellets and Piston Air Gun Channel. I told him I'd be bringing my uh, my gong out for some some more play. And uh, this thing really rings nice with these 22s. Oop, that was just a glancing blow with that one. Nice, nice shooting gun at 50 yards too. There's a better hit. So anyway, there you go. Hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Also down below, uh, check out my Amazon storefront link. Uh, that's been there for a while. But uh, I got a new uh, affiliate link down below, just below the Amazon link, and that is for California Shooting Supplies. If you click on that link and go over and check out their stuff, they've got a lot of great um, hunting and fish, not fishing, hunting and outdoor sports and air gun uh, related items. Seems like some really good pricing on there, and uh, anything you buy on there, I will get a commission from, and uh, it'll go to help out the channel and keep feeding these old old timers and i'd really appreciate it till next time have a great day